Hi, let's keep going with the clarinet. We've learned our note E, and now we're going to move on to another note, F. E is located, when we look at the staff, it's located on the bottom line. But F is actually just above it on the space. So if you think about E, the note E is being the circle, and it is sitting with the line straight through its circle but F is what we call a space note and it sits between the lines. So at the bottom of the staff we see that we have our note, the circular figure, and it's sitting between the lines. So when you see that you're going to be changing where you place your fingers. So before we had E with our thumb and first finger. Now with F all we have is our thumb. That's it. Right hand should still be supported. Left hand, you're going to be supporting it as well with your thumb. You don't press anything else down. And of course, you want to have a nice, kind of a smiling embouchure as you play. So I'm going to be looking at line two, where we're playing F. And I'm going to use our metronome. We talked about that last time. So let's get started. Recall that we had our four counts of rest between each one of our notes. Now looking at line three, we have both E and F. The E would be looking like it has the line going through it, so when you see that note, you're going to be pre pressing down on the thumb and first finger. But when you see the F that's between the lines, you want to change and only play with your thumb. So let's play line three now with both our E and our F. If you're having a hard time getting either any uh, either of those notes out, you might want to check your finger placement because if your finger is even slightly off and the pad of your finger is not covering the hole completely, then you'll get a very wimpy sound. But as soon as you cover it all the way, you'll get a beautiful sound. Get lots of breath in your instrument, cover your fingers over the holes, and you'll have a great time playing the clarinet. Thanks, we'll see you next time.